hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new first off i just had to give a huge shout out to yeso for sponsoring today's video yeso's gm1 plus bike offers an immersive fitness experience with a high definition display with 360 rotation function which is convenient for you to achieve freehand training equipped with dual speakers that deliver enhanced bass the yeso g1m plus bike comes with a 21 and a half inch fhd screen and and with the app, you can start your ride from the comfort of your home with our champion coats along for the ride, offering hundreds of live and on-demand lessons. You can interact remotely and collaboratively through your phone and also view your exercise data, including distance, time, calories burned, optimeter, and much more to adjust your exercising plan. Magnetic resistance and belt drive exercise bike allows worrying less about fitness equipment noise. The sports bike also features 100 manual resistant levels enabling people of all fitness levels to cycle towards their fitness goals at their own pace the adjustable seat and easy to grip support handles allow for a smoother and more comfortable ride for different kinds of people no worries after sales Yeso provides customers with a full refund or replacement for the first month for any quality related reasons and offers a lifetime professional customer service and technical support Contact Yussel's customer service for support with any issues covered under the first 12 months limited parts and labor warranty. Yeso features a captivating scenic riding function that transports you to breathtaking locations. Enjoy expert led workouts, sync your playlist for motivation and revolutionize your fitness journey from the comfort of your own home. Now I can't lie, the workout begins by putting this thing together because it was a little complicated. There's going to be a lot of screwing and unscrewing, but I promise you there's tons of videos on YouTube that'll make sure your bike gets assembled properly. Y'all know your girl has been getting in the gym recently and me being a single stay at home mom, it's kind of hard getting there during the days Sonny is with me. So this bike it's just been a new lifesaver a game changer all of that in one during the week when my baby is here with me i could just hop on the bike anytime any day and get to pedaling another one of my favorite features is that you can connect your phone right to the display so whatever you're watching scrolling through looking at on your phone you can watch right on the big screen the yeso app does provide courses and trainings but if you have specific videos on youtube or whatever that you like to work out to a specific playlist that gives you just that um or motivation you can play all of that directly through your monitor as well this bike will definitely be getting a lot of use. Within five minutes, I promise you guys, I was already feeling the burn, okay? The summer is officially here, so it's time we all get our mommy bodies back on track. The triangular stable structure body with an H-shaped base design makes it more stable when riding even with a larger body weight. The seat is also adjustable for the people with a little height on them. Don't worry, Yeso makes sure all of their customers are comfortable and supported during their fitness ride. I can't even lie you guys this bike is a lot and I mean a lot bigger than I thought it would be so you're definitely getting your money's worth if you're a mom that just can't seem to get away from their kids or just a little too ashamed or shy to go to the gym that's just not your speed want to hop on that new year's resolution of working out because even though the year is halfway over with it's not too late or maybe just need something to do in your free time I'll have Yeso's link in the description box along with a coupon code to get you 10% off your purchase. I absolutely love my bike and I'm sure you will too. Even if you don't want to purchase right now, click the link, look on their site, see what they offer, get inspired for next time. Now when you see me out here summertime fine, don't say I ain't tell you my secret. Be sure to click the link in my description, check yes so out, and let them know Aaliyah sent you. Hey guys, so it is the day after 4th of July, July 5th at 10.20. I'm outside of my last appointment. So this is the before. Period. I will see how much I can record, but I'm for sure come back to you guys with the after. <laughs> I haven't got my lashes done in so long. I'm so excited. When you just wake up and feel beautiful, don't nothing beat the feeling. <laughs> God, this lighting got me looking good. <laughs> Next. But yeah, y'all. Before, don't mind the redness. <laughs> We're gonna be back. Like my mama played a lot. 
my mama did too. Get your ride. Let me get her content though, y'all. BRB. Period. Y'all had a little blanket. I was just chilling. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this the before. Period. And I'm gonna see y'all with the after. Okay, change of plans, y'all. I'm going to the nail salon and Walmart. Period. Didn't do too much, honestly. We walked yesterday. And, uh, really? It was open? We open. Yes, perfect. I think this one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, and then a pink one. One, uh, one, two, two. Yeah. Yeah. I am pissed. 
the fuck off. $45? $45, y'all, for this? What the fuck? No, ma'am. talking to you guys in this whole video it is currently the next day at 9 34 a.m your girl got a lot to plan for this video yesterday i got my lashes done as y'all can see i also went and got my nails did completely hate them y'all i can't even lie i'm real pissed about this 45 dollars down the drain but i can't even be too mad because it's my fault for not asking the price before we got started but i'm just trying to figure out since when a feel a feel is $45 anyway like when he told me the price I looked at him straight up crazy y'all I, I can't even lie and I had a feeling it was gonna be high because he asked me where I got my nails done the last time in the price range and stuff like that and I definitely made sure to mention that it was cheap like I like because I'm damn sure not paying an arm and a leg for some little acrylics okay y'all know you all been on her press on game lately i just really ain't been feeling like reapplying and being real fragile with my hands but yeah he really tried it no tip because i don't even play y'all i believe i was showing the reference photo in the video y'all can compare and just know <laughs> you don't need eyes to see that this ain't the same the fuck i can't even lie i am so freaking irritated because i really wanted this video to be a little self-care day okay me glowing up after my little hair cutty cut if y'all haven't been updated with the videos y'all ain't catch your girl did the big job i'm gonna have that video linked in the eye above but yeah i had all my appointments scheduled for yesterday so today i can just plan me a cute little me day you know get myself out the house take myself on a date all of that good stuff but i still don't even feel cute i wanted to wake up and feel like that bitch and i just can't right now y'all because for one my nails atrocious my lashes i feel like are starting to fall out already and if i hit day two day three and it looks like i need a feel i'm hitting that girl up because baby run me back my funds period i got up and maybe a little smoothie this morning I didn't know what else I wanted for breakfast, and a smoothie sounded type good, so that's what I'm having. I'm up early, out and about, to fix this little situation, okay? And then I do also gotta stop at the post office, because your girl is buying a passport! Period! Well, I can't buy mine yet, because I can't find my birth certificate. In the office where you go get your birth certificate, system has been down for the last couple of days, so I can't do that. But I can definitely do Sonny's, which just reminds me I left her birth certificate at the house. So yeah, I want to run up there really quick just so I can go ahead and get hers out the way. That way, if I do have to expedite mine, so it'll be here by the time I need it, I only have to pay one expediting fee. Sonny's will already be here in my hand. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. Future travel vlogs coming up. We getting out the country. Ah! Period. I didn't do too much getting ready because I do want to go back to the house, get cute. Like I said, take myself out on a date because your girl haven't been on a date in a couple of months okay a day by myself it's been a minute i'm a little ashamed to say i'm always out with my friends my mom or my baby i never get no me time so we gonna change that because you can't expect others to do for you what you don't even do for yourself so i'm outside of this nail salon right now nails by Jaden. let's hope they got some appointments they always booked and busy that's why i was trying to get here right when they opened up they opened at 9 it's 9 45 i'm finna head in here and hopefully get a color change because ew Y'all, this little me day make myself feel good. 
it's really just starting to feel like a crappy ass fucking week. Why the nail salon ain't have no bookings till three? And they was trying to charge me $40 just to get it repainted again? Like I didn't just pay $45 for a fill. Y'all, I don't even want to fucking talk about it. If I can't get these done, I guess we just gonna have to rock out with these. I did just run back to the house and get Tink's birth certificate. And I'm right outside the post office. Ooh, excuse me. I'm finna run in here. And hopefully I can get this passport because the way this day looking and how it's going, this probably going to fall through too. <sighs> Got her birth certificate in the money order. Let's head inside. Period. Orange with the orange. Don't play with me. Oh, look at my dream truck, y'all. Period. This going to be me speaking into existence. Apply for passport here. I want to cry so freaking bad because I just feel like I just feel like it's been a it's been a week I can't even cry because I just got my lashes did and if I waste any more freaking money I don't even fucking know I feel like I've been going everywhere spending money just trying to make myself feel good and at the end of the day I don't feel freaking good like I feel like shit it's it's so annoying life it's not fun. It's not fun at all. This past week, I've had so much planned out for me to be productive, get my life in order, get things situated, and every single thing has just went in the fucking dumps. Looks like I'm not getting my nails redid. Uh, just a waste of freaking money. Also, can't even buy Sonny's passport. Her dad has to approve it or whatever. So he either has to be up there or if he can't be up there, he has to sign this paper and get it notarized. Gotta do a bunch of other freaking crap. That is annoying. I'm just irritated, y'all. I feel like nothing is going to plan. I'm just wasting gas. I'm wasting money. And I'm annoyed. So freaking annoyed. If y'all haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe. Because I need to make something back. Shit. Y'all. Look at her savings, y'all. Period. I had to put a couple dollars in there. Started this when she was 10 months, y'all. I normally don't get cash because, you know, I get paid with YouTube. And that goes straight to your bank. But when I do get cash, and my mama too, she helped fill this up. I want to move this over there though and put the dresser over here or should I I, I may keep the dresser over here you can put the dresser and that over here the dresser only about this wide All right. mm -hmm. what's this oh cute okay this how we looking y'all <laughs> looking crazy the before here come mommy with some more. Longevity is all that matters. Long term goals. Child will love it. I'm a great. 8 a.m. last night when I started, I had a hundred and maybe. Uh, the word of shipments like a little bit. Tina loves it to look so calm. My tone head and skin. No one child will go. Come in here after the day. Come on. Alright, y'all. So it is a little bit later. But your girl is feeling a lot better, okay? Period. Maybe it's just because my skin glowing. I look good. I don't know, but we definitely in a better mood than earlier. I'm gonna just go ahead and oil up my hair really quick just to give it that shine. Your girl is finna head out and I'm taking myself on a date.
period. If y'all can see, I did already get dressed, lashes been done, love that for me. My nails still ain't fixed, but hey, it's giving summertime vibes. It's colorful. I guess it's just gonna have to work because I'm not finna stress out about that. Every nail tech in my city say they don't work over other people's work. So in order for me to get them redid, I would have to pay for a whole full another set. Baby, no, we gonna rock them out. Speaking of my hair oil, Y'all, good news, my ebook is now out by the time you're watching this video. If you guys wanna know the details, my whole routine on how I cured my baby's cradle cap. I really don't know if cured is the word cause it's not like a disease, but got rid of it. <laughs> Grew her hair out, all of that. Link in bio, make sure you guys go shop. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put the book cover on the screen so you guys know exactly what to look for. But like I said, the direct link will be in the description box and pinned in the comments so you can't miss it, period. I always get tons of questions on my baby's hair care your girl got you and it's only going to be five dollars y'all five dollars purchase my ebook learn the routine practice it on yourself or your baby period and all of you guys' questions are answered from what is cradle crap to how to treat it what exact oils and methods i used and when i use them so if you're interested please be sure to go shop support a small black business hair growth oil is also coming soon loki probably be out in the next vlog so Y'all stay tuned on that as well. This ebook is really for the people that just don't watch my YouTube. So if you guys don't have the money right now, can't afford to pay $5 for a book, it's okay guys. I do have a whole tutorial on my YouTube, which will also be linked in the eye above and in the description. Y'all can go check it out. Everything in that ebook is also in that video. But a lot of the times, I still get the same questions. The video doesn't even have enough views compared to the questions that I get. So <laughs> be sure to go run over, cause I'm probably finna add it up. Period, your girl needs her coin and if y'all not finna listen it pays to listen but yeah y'all like i said i'm finna take myself on a mini date okay i haven't been to the movies and i don't know how long y'all it's been a minute and everybody's been raving about this new inside out too so you know your girl had to go check it out i didn't want to bring my girl sunny but I feel like a movie theater is just a not the place for babies. And I just seen this TikTok of this girl getting kicked out of the movie theater for her baby, I guess screaming and crying. I really don't know, but we not finna find out. <laughs> so these are my accessories to my outfit. These super cute glitter sandals that I actually wore in one of my previous vlogs. This is my last going out shoes. Turned up in these and everything. Freak Neat vlog, also linked in the eye above. Your girl was partying it up. If you missed it, you don't wanna continue to. Go watch. But yeah, these sandals, this is my go-to purse. I just love this Dooney and Burke. Period. It's super cute. The colors are just eating down and it matches the nails perfectly. I'm going to show you guys my whole outfit in a minute. I low-key was trying to dress up as one of the emotions. But as I come to realize, I don't have too many dress-up clothes, y'all. I have a lot of, like, two-piece throwing on and get out the house with Mami Anna said. So I've also been meaning to get on Shein.com and do a little bit of shopping. So y'all probably going to be getting a Shein haul pretty soon as well. The way I was looking at my closet, trying to find something cute, get all dressed up and just go out feeling like a baddie i couldn't even find nothing y'all but i feel like the brown shirt is definitely giving anxiety and the rest of the colors in my purse is just gonna match the rest of the emotions period your girl emotions is all over the place i'll be feeling them all i'm gonna give you guys an in-depth look on my outfit in a minute but your girl gotta pick out her perfumes okay this is my perfume collection right here <laughs> don't play because your girl loves to smell good so let's see let's see Marc Jacobs Dot is always my go-to, so I really don't feel like I want to smell like that today. So maybe... I feel like I'm feeling a little Kate Spade bloom right now. So this is probably the perfume I'm gonna go with. Let me just... In the hair. <laughs> Woo! And I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some of this oil. This is supposed to represent Marc Jacobs Perfect. These just last a lot better than regular perfume. So I like to dab a little on my wrist, on my ear, maybe on my collarbone. You know, feel like a lady. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is my outfit. Shirt from Target. I think this purse is thrifted. Skirt from Shein and shoes from Shein. Like I said, the brown is giving anxiety. The rainbow just matches uh, the rest of the emotions. Yeah, period. But yeah, y'all, I'm all dressed. I feel cute, period. Me and my mom 
also did just tackle Tink's room. Period. Pat on the back for me. I also feel like that's another reason why I feel like I was a little productive today, okay? I got a little something done. As y'all can see, I put her old dresser in my room and we got her a completely different set. Just because these little pull-out drawers wasn't working in her room. She stayed going in there, pulling out her socks, bibs, everything all over the floor. So yeah, we had to change that. Let me actually show you what it looks like, because it looks too cute. Period, y'all, look at it! Okay, so this is the brand new, new and improved dresser. Let's pray she don't figure out you just pull to open. So the top is still basically the same. Still got her signed newborn portrait from our baby shower, I believe. Yes, baby shower. Her 10 month piggy bank. These little blocks that say baby is also from her baby shower. I just think it's cutely displayed up here. A basket of things that I just need on hand. Since I did go ahead and get rid of her bedside caddy as well, I added her wipes, diapers, some lotion, butt cream, and then her little passies right here just for easy access. At the top, these are all her stuff she needs to go to sleep. So her sleepwear and her washcloths. A tiny amount of bibs and birth cloths. I really just went through and got rid of a lot of these because she doesn't use them too much anymore. And then socks and slippers. Yeah, <laughs> she has a lot of shoes and this ain't even all of it, but we got a whole drawer dedicated to shoes, blankets, and then this is her like little at home CVS pharmacy. Period. I definitely think I need to put a lock on this drawer. So if I can, that will happen. This is basically all the stuff that was in the bedside caddy that she kept messing with. So, period. Too cute. And did y'all peep the promo? Subscribe if you haven't already. These are some clothes I got to do a haul on. So that's in there. They're not dirty, but... This is the basic overview. I think it looks so much better. It looks like it has so much more space in here. I don't know if you guys are updated with the vlogs, but if you haven't, my baby also has a toddler bed, so her crib is gone as well. So this is her bed. Her nursery is just coming together. I don't even know if I can call it a nursery anymore. My big girl has a big girl room, y'all. Now we just waiting for her to sleep on her own so my bed can get out of here. And she'll have a lot more space. Then things will start to come together and finally look like how I envisioned. Oh, I forgot I added this on the back of the door as well. I guess it's just supposed to be like a coat hanger or I don't know, a purse hanger or whatever. My girl don't got no purses yet, but when she does, period. Get into the room. Oh dang, I did not mean to start this. And now I'm driving. <laughs> so it is now 4.01. I'm in the car on the way to the movie theater. Let's pray and hope, fingers crossed, I make it. I do want to watch the 3D version just because they said the vibes was different. So if the vibes is different, I'm trying to see what the vibes is about. It say it started at 4.15 and that's the last showing for today. Like I said, fingers crossed. Let's pray we make it. <laughs> and I definitely do need gas, y'all. But hey. I think I can make it. I definitely know I can make it. But I just don't want to have to get gas after the fact. And it's dark outside. If I don't get it before or after, that means I'm going to have to get it early tomorrow morning. We going to see when you grow. Squeeze it in. I really wish I could have made it to go pick up Sonny and then get gas. Cause then it would have been on my baby daddy. Nothing coming out my pockets. But hey, tired of stuff coming out my pocket. But y'all, I can't even lie. I am so pissed about my nails. I just feel like this is the second time the, a nail salon tried to play in my hands. And I'm just not for that. Like I'm not for wasting money, especially if it's my hard earned money. Like if I walk in a shop and I ask you if you can do a design and you say that you can, be sure that you can because it's so easy to say no. Like, it, it's so easy just to be like, oh, no, I can't do that. So why lie? My last set before I got this one, actually, the one I got a fill on, was not what I expected either. But, hey, anything look better than these. I need to stop being cheap and just take my behind to an actual nail tech. But they just require too much. You got to book appointments and have deposits. And sometimes I don't know when I want my nails done. I just wake up and I'm like, hey, these nails need to be did. So... I don't know y'all. I actually recorded a little rant about my nails. It was supposed to be inserted in one of my last vlogs, but when I was going to go edit, I could not find the clips nowhere on my camera and I just thought I deleted them. Turns out they was on my phone y'all, so I may just go ahead and insert them here. Yo, where the freak is my card? 
also fly in here. My dumb behind was finna start up my car while it's pumping gas. <laughs> What's up vlog? Notice the quality change? Yeah, cause my camera is right here. Well, I changed my battery and everything before I left till then. But it's almost seven o'clock and I'm finna go pick up my baby. I feel like I did so, so much today, okay? I did stuff for my hair care business. I filmed and almost completely got done editing a video this weekend. I also installed those locks on the cabinets for Sonny. And by the way, they are not as like easy install as they make it seem. Your girl was really struggling. I literally did only three cabinets and I called it a day. I was like, you know what? These are her main three that she go in. So this is just gonna be what it be, okay? I was tired. So like I said, I am on the way to pick up my girl. I said, I know Sonny gonna be like, what in the world did you do? When I pick her up, I'm gonna have a whole different hairstyle and her cabinet is gonna be locked. She gonna be upset with me. I didn't forgot to mention I got my nails did as well. I know y'all keep seeing me talk with my hands. Period. As soon as you get your nails done, you just can't help it. They are so cute. I did record a little bit of vlog footage. They're super cute, but it's definitely not what I wanted. I'm gonna insert a picture of my insult on the screen. I'm gonna let you guys vote whether this looks the same or not. But yeah, y'all, the lady was trying to play like she knew how to do it. I asked her if she could do it. She said yes. I tried to record the process. Y'all heard. She said she wasn't comfortable. She probably wasn't comfortable because she really didn't know what she was doing. I can't lie, y'all. This shape really ate down. But for my design, yeah. She really had to add on stuff to it. It was really supposed to be just an orange flower. But she had to add the black dots in the middle and the little diamond. Free of charge because that's the only thing that made it come together. Before all of that, I looked at it. I did one of these. And she's like, oh, no. She had to reassure me real quick. She was like, we put black and blue diamond, blue diamond. I said, okay, okay. Let me see what that looking like first. Cause right now, mm -mm, I'm not feeling it. Period. Y'all see the details. I really just wanted the orange because I got orange on my toes and I wanted them to low key match. I honestly just got them done because I knew I was cutting my hair off and I didn't want to feel too fugly. You know, just in case it didn't come out right. I didn't like the way it looked. I at least wanted to feel a little dolled up, you know? So I went ahead and got my nails and toes done. The hair ate on its own. I don't even need all of that. She also added a little orange leaf on my middle finger as, oh, as well. Cause that wasn't on the inspo photo, but it low key ended up tying it all together. So I'm glad she recommended that. <laughs> Snack. <laughs> just so y'all can get that little bit of spill too, get some more watch time. <laughs> I just honestly miss the days you can go to the nail salon and get a cute, nice, basic set for the low. Like these inflation prices is getting out of control. merchandise shop <laughs> it's so funny okay don't play with them excuse me period popcorn gummies of course gotta get the bunch of crunch my little cup
indescribable feeling when the lights begin to dim. if you haven't already low-key kind of salty because i didn't take any pictures i felt so cute this is why you need friends i tried the whole selfie stick taking pictures by yourself they just never seem to eat the same like when somebody else takes them so yeah they've got to wear this outfit again and get some flicks with that haircut i haven't posted any pictures on instagram since the cut yeah pictures coming soon best believe i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys i just say i honestly think it is a of course kids friendly movie just because it helps them understand their emotions and feelings and all of that stuff a little bit more and like you know dumb it down on a kid level it was super cute I almost cried a couple of times I can't even lie I feel like ever since I had a baby I've just been so emotional like movies don't never make me cry but after Sunny, the waterworks be coming after anything <laughs> I don't know I don't know why I thought taking myself to the movies would be like low-key kind of weird but it was actually a nice vibe it didn't feel any different from going with people other than the fact that I just didn't talk in the movie theater. Like, normally your girl's a talker. I'm gonna narrate the movie, okay? And I'm gonna crack jokes in between. But I couldn't do that this time, so. And I had to spend my own coin. <laughs> Other than that, taking yourself on a date, 10 out of 10 recommend, period. Now that going out to eat by yourself, probably gonna have to be a different task for a different day, because that's a whole different ball game, and I've yet to do that either. But I'm tired of spending money. I just brought seafood, like, three days ago. I was gonna include it in this vlog, but things ended up happening, so that didn't go according to plan. But I'm definitely not spending any more money on food i also don't know why i thought it was gonna be dark outside completely forgot we still in summertime so i probably am gonna head to the gas station probably put like five maybe ten dollars in my tank and leave the rest up to the baby daddies i'm gonna go ahead and pull off head to the gas station i also want to hit up the gym i don't know if i'm gonna hit up the gym today or tomorrow but i'll be sure to record a little bit for you guys if i do end up going to the gym and then not coming back i guess this is my outro if you haven't already make sure you guys like comment and subscribe follow me on my social medias they'll be on the screen and in the description box but yeah that's not the end of this vlog y'all don't click off just yet i'm just saying if i don't come back and actually chit chat with you guys yeah make sure y'all subscribe to the curly period roll to 25k <laughs> the gym last night or getting gas so i made sure to go ahead get up early this morning get my exercise in we are currently right outside the planet fitness literally finna clock in as we speak let's go burn some calories <laughs>
out complete. I ain't never sweated so much in my life.